Let's take a look at 44. This is solving a formula for a variable. So let's uh, refresh our memory on, on those steps. Solving a formula for a variable. Now we have a note at the top. This is really true anywhere in math. At any step, combine like terms and combine numbers. Step one, get rid of parentheses. Let me do this via the distributive property. Step two, get rid of fractions. And we multiply everything by the LCM of all the denominators. Step three, get everything with the variable we are solving for on one side, everything else on the other side. Step four, if the variable we are solving for is in two or more terms, factor it out. And step five, uh, divide both sides by what is in front of slash back of the variable we are solving for. Okay, so let's uh, solve this problem using these steps. 44. We got P is equal to 2A plus 2B. And wanting to solve this for B. Now I'm just going to go through those steps. Uh, first step, uh, get rid of parentheses. Don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions. Don't have any. Third step, get everything with the variable we're solving for on one side, everything else on the other side. So I'm going to take this 2A and move it over to the left side. So that becomes a negative 2A. When you move anything across, equals the sign changes. So now we got everything with a B on the right side and everything else on the other side. Step four, if the variable you're solving for is in two or more terms, it's not. Terms are separated by pluses and minuses, so there's only one term on the right side. Uh, last step, step five, divide both sides by what's in front of slash behind the variable you're solving for. We're solving for B. There's nothing after it, but there's a two in front of it. So we'll divide both sides by two. Now I think formulas are are challenging for people. Two's cancel there. You got p minus two a over two, and the reason why is because you may have done all the steps correct. You got the the correct answer, but then when you look in the back of the book, it doesn't match the answer there, because depending upon the steps you take on this, um, and even though this the correct steps, your answer may look different, but it's still the same. For example, if I split this into two separate fractions, put the p over two minus and then 2a over 2 equals b. What I'm going to get is I'll get 1 half p and those 2's will cancel minus a equals b. Now notice this right here looks vastly different than this but they're actually the same thing. So let's go see what the, this particular problem does. It looks like they p minus 2a over 2 it looks like they left as a single fraction which is excellent that's the way I like it. Uh, because typically simplified form means a, a single fraction. So let me check everything. Looks like A. Yeah. So 44A. And it checks.